G'day fellas, I thought I'd throw this quick video together on safety uh, in the foundry. It is quite important. Um, so first of all we'll start with water. Um, we do use water in casting, usually in the sand. Uh, that's not usually a problem. Uh, the problem usually arises when you actually introduce water into the molten aluminium. And you may ask yourself when you would do that. It is actually quite easy to do. Basically if you wash a part, you wash your aluminium pieces or anything like that and you don't let it dry or there's a little pocket of water somewhere that you've missed and then you pop that into the crucible with molten aluminium in there then you're going to have problems because the, uh, the water will instantly turn steam and if the aluminium has surrounded the water it will actually propel all that aluminium that's around it um, all over the place. If you're in the way you're probably going to wear it. So just for that reason alone, because it is so easily done, always wear your safety gear, especially your goggles or your safety glasses. Uh, very important. Next is magnesium. Magnesium is not the sort of thing that you actually want to use to cast with. Um, it's very, very volatile and burns at very, very high temperatures. So I think it's got a flash point of about 550 degrees and if in the event it catches fire, uh, it will burn over 2000 degrees Celsius. So that will probably burn through your crucible, uh, through the bottom of your furnace, onto the floor, uh, very dangerous. The chances of putting it out are quite slim if you're not prepared. You can't use CO2 or dry chemical. You definitely don't want to use water. Uh, it's been suggested to me that if you actually have a bag and you fill that full of sand and then tie that bag to the end of a pole uh, so you can actually put it over the top of what's ever burning your crucible or your furnace, um, that way the, uh, the heat will burn the bag and the sand will drop on to whatever's burning in there, whatever you want to extinguish and you can stay at a fair distance away. Uh, you do want to put it out as quick as possible because as I say it will keep burning. Um, there are ways of identifying magnesium in aluminium uh, and magnesium reacts with vinegar and it produces hydrogen. Um, so if you get a file and you file the top of the, the piece of aluminium that you wish to cast or used for casting, um, just scrape the top of it off and then put a drop of vinegar on there and then just have a look at it. If it does nothing, if it just stays just like vinegar, then that's fine. Uh, you can use that for casting. However, if it uh, turns a milky colour, there are actually little tiny bubbles of hydrogen and that's a good indication that don't cast with that, that's got magnesium in it. Um, very important. So if you're in doubt, just give it that quick test and hopefully that will lead you in the right direction. As for what I wear, cotton clothing. Don't use any synthetic. Right, This will melt. Uh, so if something actually splashed on you, this would actually hold on to it because it would melt it, grip it, that will burn you and because it's melting that'll burn you as well. So not a good idea, synthetic clothing or flammable clothing. Um, cotton is still flammable, however if a spark was to hit it here or a piece of aluminium was to jump out and hit me here, um, it, would, it would roll off. Now, obviously not if it's like that, it's going to burn you, but if it hit here it would roll off before it actually done any major damage. Nice gloves. I always like to have my gloves a little bit, uh, a little bit big, just enough so you can grip with. But if you want to get them off, they're off. Obviously, the glasses, like I say, a must. A mask. Um, some people are worried about silicosis. Uh, because I use a washed sand. Uh, you actually get most of that really, really fine powdery silica washed out. It's still probably there, um, and a wash sand is what you use in kids' sand pits. Like if you're ever using or building a, 
a kid's sand pit, you always use a wash sand because that gets all those little tiny bits out. Um, but if you are going to use a mask, get a good one. Get something that fits the face nice and tight. And um, yeah, those uh, material ones or the loose ones that fit over, they're no good. And always, if you have a growth, get rid of the growth. Uh, you really don't, it's not, not going to provide a good seal at all. So you really don't want that on. Now I have these also, and these go around my boots. So if in the event that the crucible gets dropped or molten aluminium splashed on the floor and it jumps up onto the top of my boot, uh, I have lace-ups. So there's a nice little cup there where aluminium can sit and actually melt through the boot into my foot. Um, and these will stop that. Very good idea. Also, a fire extinguisher. If you can get your hands on a fire extinguisher, do that. Uh, dry chemical or CO2. Okay, you don't want to be putting fires out with water when you're dealing with my kiln's an electric one. So it's a no-no. Water's a no-no. Also, with the molten aluminium, also a no-no. I find that if you just take your time, uh, make sure there's no rush, everything is at hand, and you don't have to look for anything, things go pretty smoothly. Um, just think of things that can go wrong. Uh, if you do have a hose, hook it up to the tap, make sure you turn the tap on, uh, just to get all the air out of the hose, uh, because if you do burn yourself, seconds are vital, so, um, yeah, that's always a good thing to have handy. So I think that just about wraps it up, fellas. Hope it helps. Uh, happy casting.